sensitive locations of the state along the uh, border areas. And the cabinet today has officially sanctioned and approved uh, BOP for East Gentia Hills in Muriap, in West Gentia Hills in Mukro and uh, TY, BOP number three. Uh, this is in West Gentia Hills, in Riboy, in Rani Jirang, the BOP has been approved, in West Khasi Hills, in Umwali, number two in Lejadubi, and number three in Langpi. We have also decided that the outpost will be officially sanctioned for Athiabari. Also, we have decided that the upgradation of the outpost to full-fledged police stations will be done in Patarkama, number one, and number two in Krishai, okay, and number two in Krishai, and uh, for, for the out, for outpost will also be upgraded. So these were the different uh, locations where the BOPs uh, have been sanctioned, and uh, we will ensure that uh, uh, we swiftly act and ensure that the manpower is there in these different locations and required infrastructure also be created at the earliest. Apart from that, there were some other areas, especially in Riboy district, bordering uh, Block 2. Uh, and uh, there were suggestions that had come up, uh, but uh, we had to double check uh, with the entire local uh, communities also and at the same time we had to double check with the sensitivities of the areas to ensure that uh, we are able to cut the correct locations and hence uh, though the proposals came in we have asked the DG DGP to uh, make a visit to those areas and uh, come back with a proposal especially in uh, the border area uh, with the areas of differences within block 2 area which is mainly falling under Riboy district. So Riboy also, we will come out with a second list uh, soon and uh, that will be done after more detailed study is done of uh, the <coughs> Riboy area. In every BOP, there is roughly an expenditure of about two crores annually and in an outpost about one and a half crores. It's plus minus depending on the exact manpower that will be there. So if you're talking about uh, seven uh, of them right now, there's about 14 crores of expenditure annually uh, in the BOPs and roughly about uh, in the other locations, about three to four crores. So we're looking at this decision leading to an impact of about 17 to 18 crores, roughly. Again, I, I can be uh, wrong by a few percentage uh, or amounts, but um, that's roughly the expenditure to be. So basically what we have to realize is that in the past, in many locations, uh, the BOPs were set up, but the BOPs were set up without actual sanction. And hence, the manpower was brought in from the district or from other police stations or other outposts and posted there on a form of a temporary basis. So when we say we are sanctioning this, that means there will be budgetary provision kept for the post. Posts will be sanctioned and recruitments will be done to fill this up. But of course, in the meantime, while that takes place, manpower from other areas will be adjusted. But these will be sanctioned posts and hence they will have to be filled up.